Right, take two. It was too dark a second ago. Um, yeah, uh, Greg the Wild Hippie back once again. Um, today on the bench, I'm going to build this classic frog kit. Uh, from I think it's from the 1950s, maybe the 60s. Um, yeah, um, I've had it in the collection a while. Um, as uh, you can see, um, well, yeah, stash just about gone. Their kits down there I can't do for whatever reason. Um, there's no date on this one, unfortunately, but never mind. Um, the yeah, cardboard uh, it came in a in a little plastic bag um, and with cardboard um, instructions on it. I made a start on it last night. Very cartoony looking pilot figure, um, but he'll do. But yeah, you're not really going to see him when when it's hanging from the ceiling. Um, going to build this one wheels up, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to crack on and I'll bring you back when I've done a bit more. See you shortly, people. Right, I've got the fuselage together and the cockpit canopy on, masked up. Um, need a bit of the, you know, this is you know, typical um, frog kit from the uh, from the 1950s ish. Um, yeah, fit is pretty diabolical, um, but yeah, it, it looks like it's going to come out roughly vampire shaped, and that's good enough for me. So I'll bring you back once I've done a bit more. Well, it's coming out roughly vampire shaped, so not too bad. Just the tail plane keeps drooping, so I need to hold that up while it sets. But yeah, um, it's not oh, its not terrible, is it, really? Well, it's yeah, a bit of filler here and there. A bit of paint, that should be all good. Anyway, I'll bring it back when she's ready for paint. Right, the uh, underside's been painted blue. I can't remember where I got to with the filming before. And I've done the, um, the, the, the nice grey on the top. Um, just about to do the, um, the green camouflage. Um, something similar to what the destructions are saying. So yeah, I'll bring it back when I've done that. Right, well that's the camouflage done. As always with uh, camouflage instructions, you've, um, you've kind of got to take in a bit of artistic license with it, shall we say. Because, um, like, you know, especially on the older ones, so they're, they're pretty small um, and they only give you one side of the aeroplane. And um, I mean, on on this one, they, you know, they pretty much match up. They're not as bad as the Airfix one I did like uh, the other day. But yeah, quite happy with that. Gonna let that dry, give us some varnish, and then it'll be time for the decals. See you in a bit. Right, so I'm on to the decals now. I've done most of the, oh well, some of the underside ones, um, and um, I'm doing the. Uh, the roundels now, I need to rescue that one because it's curled up and come off the paper. Back in one. Right, back with you. I've rescued them ones. Um, yeah, um, dealing with what possibly... Uh, really, I don't know what age this kit is, so we could be looking at 50, 60 year old decals, maybe even slightly older. Um, so yeah, the, um, the roundels lifted off the backing paper a lot quicker than all the others and then rolled up. Um, um, and then this one split slightly, um, but considering I'm quite <laughs> considering the age of the decals and, and and what just happened, I think I've done a good job of rescuing them. So that's them done. Um, now to do the ones on the top side, I'll bring you back when they're done. Right, that's really annoyed me now. Um, oh, don't tell me that's another one. No, I'm good. Well, the decals aren't sticking very well. They're literally just falling off again. Or um, the other one of them roundels with that just completely disintegrated. Um, the, um, the identification number, um, you know, it went on and then all of a sudden it was on another part, it was on my other hand, um, totally curled up and I tried to re-soak it and it just, it just fell apart. Um, I'm going to try and do the red, white and blue stripes on the tail fins and then I'm leaving it because it's doing my head in now. <laughs> I'll bring it back in a minute. Right, that's it. I'm calling it for these decals. I'm doing do maybe the two ones, the two on the inside literally disintegrated again. The ones on the outside aren't so bad. Um, but yeah, that's you know, hundred year old decals, isn't it? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let that dry overnight, um, and then do another coat of the uh, clear lacquer, um, and then I'm gonna call it. I'm not even gonna bother doing weathering. I'm sick of it now. So yeah, I'll bring it back tomorrow when I hang it up. Right, there she is. Yeah, very happy with that canopy that came out. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with um, with how it turned out, considering the age of the kit and the the faff on I have with the decals. 
Um, so um, yeah, that will do. Um, oh, so yeah, there's the frog. Um, the Havilland Vampire 170 second scale. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed that, please give us a thumbs up and um, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, cause there'll be more of this coming. I don't know what I'm going to build next. Uh, I've got a couple of options and also I've got a couple in the post coming. So I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, and I'll see you on the next one very soon. Take it easy, people.